We have a field in the back of our house here, and today I'm going to show you how I'm going to build a no-dig garden. First, we laid down the cardboard, trying to make sure it overlapped so that weeds and grass wouldn't grow through. Next, we wet down the cardboard. This helps it adhere to the ground, as well as helping the cardboard and the grass and weeds beneath it break down sooner. Then we added 6 to 12 inches of compost on top and spread it out. And here you see the final results. A brand new potato garden made with minimal effort. Once the potato plants were about 10 inches high, we added a few inches of straw on top of the bed. These potatoes were harvested the end of July. As you can see, they come out clean and are very easy to pull up from the bed. An added benefit of no dig gardening is that the moisture is trapped in beneath the straw and your garden will need very little water. Here we use the no dig gardening method to build a slightly raised bed to grow our garlic in. First we laid down the cardboard making sure it overlapped. Then we added compost. Next we added in a little bit of sand to make sure the soil was nice and loose with good drainage for the garlic to grow in. Then we added topsoil and removed lumps. I'm all finished filling this bed with the layers of compost, um, a bit of sand and some topsoil. I breaked through it, I pulled out all the clumps. Now I'm going to water it because I put the cardboard on the bottom and I want that cardboard to um, compost and kill the grass. So I just figure that'll happen a lot faster if it's wet. So I'm gonna put the sprinkler on it and let it sit. Uh, watering it will also just compact the soil. I may end up needing to add a little bit of compost to the top if it sinks down too much. And a month from now, I'm ready to plant my garlic. Here we have the finished product of the no-dig raised bed.